Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, okay, I've got a couple of things here. I have two St. Matthew's Churches letters. Um, let's open this one. The good news can change your life to the good. To the good. That, that's good writing right there. The decision you make today can determine what happens in your future. Yeah, okay. Not, not what happens in my past. Everything that's going to happen to me from now on will be in my future, so... A little redundant, but whatever. Okay, we have the usual very fancy schmancy picture of Jesus here. He sent his word and healed them. And, yep, here are the people saying St. Matthew's Church has helped them. And maybe it has helped a few people so that they can get these, uh, these, what do you call them? Um, testimonials. I can always, I always have trouble saying, coming up with that word, that and tablet. Anyway. Let's see. One day Jesus told his disciples a story to illustrate their need for constant prayer and to show them that they must keep praying until the answer comes. Maybe, or maybe it's about something else. From uh, my experience, nobody misunderstands the Bible like Christians. And it says, St. Luke 18, 1 through 8. So, Luke 18, 1 through 8. <clears throat> Let's see. The harvest plan works. The decisions you make today determine what God does for you tomorrow. Dear St. Matthew's Churches, when I get through reading your letters, they are so true until I just have to let the tears run down my face. What? They're true until he has to let the tears run down his face. At that point, they're not true anymore. Because God fills my heart with joy and lets me know he loves me and I can make it. I, keep, I can see this being a positive, this much of it being a positive message for Christians, you know. Um, you know, you believe Yahweh loves you and all that stuff and it helps you keep on going. Fine. But when I read your magazines, I really get joy out of them. What magazines? You mean these? This This is not a magazine. Um, they put joy in my heart, uh, clapping in my hands, and joy tears in my eyes. These are not people um, for whom English is a first language. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's interesting that they're sort of targeting people um, who might not be from this country, might not have made it, might not have a lot of money. I don't know. Maybe it's a little profiling to assume that someone who doesn't speak English very well doesn't have much money. Maybe I shouldn't assume that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. My husband stopped drinking through your prayers and mine. Huh. My husband stopped drinking. Either maybe he was abusive, or maybe... He was um, wasting too much money on drinking. Or maybe he was just dying. Wow. God is just good. My son-in-law got off drugs and I joined the church. My son-in-law. Ah, interesting. So, um, her daughter was raised by a man who drinks and uh, married a drug addict. Cycle? I think so. Assuming this story wasn't even fabricated, it just says M.W. at the end. So this is someone claiming that um, all their problems were solved by uh, giving money to St. Matthew's churches. And that's the scam. Um, they want you to think that they are going to solve all your problems if you give them money. And it's, it doesn't work that way. Let's see. Uh, put your bills in God's hands. What? Um, 
That's interesting. Look at that. If you can read that, uh, put your bills in God's hands. In other words, give us your money instead of paying your bills. Because you, we assume you only have enough money to do one, and we want you to choose us, us being St. Matthew's Church's own. Role-playing here. Wow. Let's see. We are going to earnestly pray that God will bless you during the coming months in a special way. Letters are pouring in telling us how God is blessing through this simple little biblical plan. God's Biblical Seed Harvest Plan. As you may remember, that is a little booklet of sort of uh, cards that you fill out and send to them to say how much money you're sending them. It's like those things in the little envelopes at churches um, where you put like a check or whatever in them and you say how much money you gave them. Maybe it helps them with their bookkeeping. I don't know. It is working. It is a little step of faith through which God is blessing people. It is faith that does it. Giving God something out of each check won't hurt anyone. It'll hurt the people who don't have enough money to be giving to this church. It is an investment into your future. No, it is harming your future. We want you to try God. Put him first as your partner, St. Matthew 6.33. No, they want you to put St. Matthew's churches first. It is not right. We'll even pay the postage. Notice how they talk all around, give us money. It's put God first, blah, blah, blah. We'll even pay the postage for what? For what exactly? For putting God first? What do you mean by that? We all know, but say it. Use the words. But they, instead of say, give us money, they refer to the seed harvest plan. They which says, give us money. They don't say, they don't come out and say, if you give us money, good things will happen to you. They use code, like obedience, uh, planting a seed. These are all codes for give us money. Let's see. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, except for... Um, fix all my problems without giving St. Matthew's Church's money, it would seem. Keep this beautiful painting of our Lord as a Bible marker or keepsake and mail this postcard to us before midnight tomorrow. I've had this letter for a while, so. We will pay the postage. Just drop it in the mailbox. Please try to do it before midnight tomorrow. This means much, this will mean much to you and this ministry. This is a special postcard. Let's see, it says here on this special postcard, Dear Reverends and Prayer Family of St. Matthew's Churches, Please send me a Biblical Seed Harvest Plan to take God as my financial partner because I need His divine help in all areas of my life. Can you see the, the code words, the trickiness of all this? It's insane. This is just a thing if you want another Biblical Harvest Plan, or if you haven't gotten one, they'll send you one, I guess, so that you can start sending the money. I should start sending in just for tons and tons of Biblical Seed Harvest Plans. Maybe I'll do that, because all I have to do is, uh, you know, put my name in here and check the checkbox. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway... Yeah, the more I look at these St. Matthew's Church's things, the more I can see that this is exactly the same scam as Peter Popoff and all those other people. Um, in other videos, I think I've expressed um, that they're not as bad. But yes, they are exactly as bad. And I may have expressed that too, but I'm reiterating it now. Do not give money to people who tell you that giving money shows your faith and that your faith will solve your problems. Because these people are not good people. They want to do bad things to you. They don't care about you. That's it. All right. So I'll catch you next time for when I open this one, whenever that may be. All right. See ya.